This is Visitants, a 2.5D puzzle platformer where you play as the spirit of a deceased person going through the memories of its past life. This is the main spirit you play as. You can press the A and D keys to move left and right, and the W key to jump. There is a round proximity of sight that the spirit has that can be activated by pressing the left mouse button. The player can use objects within the house as platforms to jump to higher areas or jump over other objects. However, some objects are too high for the player to jump over on their own. Whenever the player activates a pulse, while a floating journal is within its proximity of sight, it can spawn a memory of itself. The memories are clones of the player, and they mimic the same movement the player has. The one difference is that the memories don't possess a proximity of sight and can't set out a pulse to activate other memories. When one of the player's units are still, the other one can walk into it and climb on top of its back. A memory jumping underneath the player, while the player is maneuvered on top of it, will allow him to jump higher when they both jump at the same time. Part of the challenge of the game is maneuvering the unit so the player is the one that advances. In most cases, if the memory gets too far ahead, it'll go back to where its journal first was. The main environmental hazard in this level are the spikes. Whenever the player lands on one of the spikes, the player will go back to a respawn point signified by three rotating red books. When one of the memories lands on the spikes, they turn solid black and turn into a platform for the player to jump on. But they only last for a little while before disappearing back into their journal. In some instances, both the player and a memory must pass the hazard to clear an obstacle past it. Another main challenge to the game is keeping track of both the spirit and the memory's movements. Since they move in unison, the player can't focus on a single unit alone, and every unit has to be accounted for. Sometimes one memory isn't enough to push the spirit up past an obstacle. For these situations, the player will have to maneuver two memories under the spirit to boost its jump further.
There will be more variations in jump height over time the more memories a spirit has underneath it. Sometimes the key to jumping higher is changing the pattern the memories are jumping. At the end of every level, there will be a door for the spirit to escape the memory of that part of the house. And that concludes this gameplay demo of Visitants.